Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting Trains and today you're joining me on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark and this is just a complete bit of fun video, nothing serious at all. This was just me testing out my old double O gauge railway track that came from the layout I was building where I used to live on dry land and I basically just set it up on the roof as it was the only place I had space to do just a little oval and really I just wanted to check that the electric sockets and everything on board the boat were fully compatible with the basic Hornby rail controllers. Right, let's get up on the roof and, well, as I say, it's just a bit of fun, really. Right, we'll have a chat. So here was the moment of truth. Would my little loco run when powered by the plug sockets on the boat? Which you can see the answer was yes. The only reason I had a little bit of doubt was because those sockets are powered by batteries that are charged by the engine that run through an inverter so it's again one of those things I always like to make sure and double check before I before I commit to anything and say oh we're definitely having a boat track on the roof a boat track a train track on the roof um, so anyway as you can see these are the last bits of track from my humble layout that I was building back on dry land that obviously sadly had to be destroyed for moving on to a boat purposes and you'll see here, because the roof's got that slight uh, curve to it, I had to uh, basically bolster the track with a few extra bits of track underneath to keep it relatively level and flat so we didn't have trains rolling off left, right and centre. And as we start up here for some very, very slow loops to begin with, you'll see that I hadn't had the very simple idea of putting the barge pole and the rope uh, underneath the handrails on either side of the roof to stop the little loco rolling straight off the boat roof into the canal if it did get derailed. So instead I was here clambering around on the roof, terrified at any moment it was going to topple off and I'd have to do some sort of, uh, I don't know, cricketing catch because I can't think of any sensible uh, reference to make. But again, as you'll see it, at this slow speed it was all nice and calm in a second get ready for excitement because we're about to we're about to whack it up to full speed ahead my friends um and even that on the relatively uneven very quickly laid out track it still was operating absolutely fine and the thing that i was surprised about was how awesome it seemed even just this very simple little oval of track seemed like a great fun awesome little thing that immediately took me from my original plan of building an internal indoor N-gauge uh, scale track and layout to maybe having a proper double O gauge layout on the roof that's just a, a completely fresh clean set of track that maybe goes closer to the handrails of the boat but the full 30 length uh, 30 foot length of the boat roof and then maybe having some of these smaller ovals in the middle or dotted around just to change it up and just as a great bit of a fun novelty really. So thank you very much for joining me for that as I say nothing serious just a little bit of fun but it does mean that now I've got the green light everything's operational I'm now considering as I may have mentioned in the video a full-time permanent outdoor track on the roof but I will definitely be starting a small N-gauge layout that I'll be working on on my writing desk on the back there and slowly building that up and maybe getting a little Perspex uh, top case that can slot over the top so it can be used as a bit of a desktop or a little tabletop feature. So yeah, there's a lot to look out for and a lot more videos to come. As I say, my adventure into N-Gage is about to begin and hopefully I may also have a double O-Gage track up on the roof as well at some point. But there's plenty to plan and my goodness me, there's plenty more jobs to do on the boat itself. Until the next time, my friends, check the links in the description below. If you want to see a load of random bits and pieces from Narrowboat Life, check out my other YouTube channel. It's just called Sort of Interesting. Coming up to 20,000 subscribers there, which is just absolute madness. So please do check out that if you want to see more about my life on board here. If you're really interested, check the links in the description. You'll find links to my short Kindle books and paperback book about life on an Arabate. And well, until the next time, my friends, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it interesting, keep it boat-worthy, keep it train-worthy, and of course, my friends, farewell.